Hi, I'm Jenny from whizpopbang.com, it's a science magazine making science exciting for young children. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do some paper chromatography to make these lovely little flowers. Uh, so it's really easy to do. What you need is a bowl or a cup of water with just a little bit of water in the bottom. And we're going to first of all make a stand for the paper to sit on. So I've just got a bit of kitchen roll. I'm going to make it into a circle, so fold it in half and in half again. Cut round and bake circle shape. my circle is, it's not bad, um, and, and then just nick the top off it as well so that we have a flat surface because we're going to stand this up in our bowl. So I'm just going to make sure whether it's about the right size. It wants to just sit slightly proud of the bowl. That should about do. Um, and then you can put it in the water like that, stand it up, and it's going to soak up the water to the top. Okay, so now we need to prepare our flour, another piece of kitchen roll, and then you just need some ordinary felt tip pens. Have, you can experiment with different colours, uh, uh, some of the most spectacular are brown and black. Um, so I normally put a coin in the middle just to give you something to go around. You don't want to be in the very middle, it's, it's better to do it slightly out. And then you can do some designs. Oh, actually I've realized this is it's a good idea to do this on newspaper because it, it sometimes goes through the uh, kitchen roll and onto your surface below, but I haven't. Uh, so what do we want to do? I don't know. So, some designs around the outside, let's use some green as well, Oop. do any pattern you like really, you don't need very much colour, really simple. Okay and there we have it and now all we're going to do is put that on top of our bowl so the water's already reached the top, it's wicked up to the top. that in the middle with the coin still on so that it just weights it down and makes sure that it presses against the uh, wet kitchen roll underneath. And what's going to happen is that the water is going to soak into the kitchen roll from the from the middle and just spread outwards and it's going to take the colours with them and uh, as we go along we're going to see how those colours spread out so I'm just going to leave it now. Uh, I might do a time lapse and you can see what's happening. So as you can see that made a lovely pattern on the kitchen roll, so now I can take it off with the coin uh, um, and there we have it. Beautiful and what's happening there, the science behind that is that the ink dissolves in the water and takes the water, uh, the water takes the ink with it as it goes and the different kinds of ink get um, taken out at different rates. So it separates out, so you can see the black um, has separated out into a sort of pinky colour, brownie and a blue at the edge. Okay, so now all we need to do is uh, cut them out. Right, uh, and then just need a pipe cleaner, and I'm going to put the two together, scrumple them up a bit. Maybe that one a little bit more, the smaller one. Do that one on the outside, and just bend 
like cleaner right in the middle. Until you have a beautiful flower. Ta da! If you're looking for more ideas for fun science experiments you can do with your children, then pop along to whizpopbang.com and take a look at our science magazine for children aged 6 to 11. Lots of ideas for things you can do. Beautiful paper chromatography flowers.